GetAroundCoach.com. Iowa Calc case study. This time a very myopic eye with a lot of astigmatism. Let's look at this eye here. So right eye is up on top. You can see the patient has a refraction somewhere in the minus 13 range for spherical and about three dots of astigmatism. You can see on the topography, there's that bow tie with the rule. Again, about three dots of astigmatism. And then we can look over here. The topography looks reasonable. There's a high order aberrations, pupil size. He already had some dilation drops in, so don't hold that against him. But let's look at the other eye. Left eye, even more myopic, minus 1575, minus four of sill. Only about two diopters or so in that topography. But what do you notice over here? What's that? Why does it have the yellow spot in the middle? Let me show you. This is the inside of the eye. That's the lens. And there's the cornea. And that's the overall. And look what's happening. The center of the lens has a higher power. Therefore, the refraction's higher in the middle than it is in the periphery. Same in the other eye. Higher power in the center of the lens, cornea is there, and that's lens plus cornea together is here. That's a nuclear sclerotic cataract causing a myopic shift. Let's delve in deeper. Here's the tomography, and you can see the right eye. Again, all of that astigmatism. Again, this reads here, about two and a half diopters if you measure anterior and posterior cornea. So that's great. So that's consistent. Let's look at the left eye. Left eye, again, a lot more astigmatism apparently, but no, total anterior and posterior, about two diopters worth. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Let's look at the biometry. Now for a minus 12-ish eye and a minus 15 eye, that's a lot, a lot shorter axis length than I anticipated. I anticipated a 30 millimeter eye. So again, that's the nuclear sclerotic cataract causing the myopic shift. So 27 millimeter axial length here, AC depth 3.25, 3.26. Lens has thickened, look at that, almost five millimeters. This one is definitely more than five millimeters. Again, nuclear sclerotic shift in the center of the lens nucleus, causing it to increase anterior posture and increase its power. Again, very consistent on the astigmatism. Let's take a look. Calculations. Now look at the right eye. So most of you would say, yeah, do an eight diopter lens. That's Barrett saying eight's okay. If you look at S SRKT, eights is pretty close. Hagus. Left eye, you'd probably say six and a half. Hagus is six. SRKT, six and a half. That's all reasonable, right? Nah, I don't think so. We're going to do lens calcs with iowacalc.com, lattice super formula. And here we say, let's aim a little more myopic, a minus a half. And this is what I'm gonna aim for, seven diopter lens on this side, and either an 850 or a nine diopter on this side. So we do our torque calculations, and torque calculations show, here you go, right eye, planning for an eight and a half. There's the astigmatism, a T6 lens, so the lens will fix two and a half diopters of total um, astigmatic correction at the corneal plane. Left eye, seven diopters. T5 lens gonna fix two diopters of the corneal plane. Last thing I want to show you is this. This is the autorefraction. In the right eye, again, minus 13 with minus 3 of sill. The left eye, minus 1575, 4 of sill. Look at the full distance Rx from two years ago. So the right eye was 1075 with 2.75 of sill. Left eye, 1250. So a big shift. So even just ignoring the sill part, from minus 1075 to minus 13, that's about a 2 diopter shift. And then minus 1250, to 15 and change, that's about a three doctor shift. Again, that's from the nuclear sclerosis. And you can tell the patient, also now, when he wears his contact lenses, he wears these new glasses on top to give him that extra bit of myopia. And notice if you add this uh, full-time contact lens prescription will be the same as this. So that plus this is about where he's sitting now. So again, this is a common case of nuclear sclerosis causing that shift. And that big myopic shift is from that central nuclear opalescence. Again, we look here and you can see telltale characteristics. If you look at the lens of the eye, increased power in the center of the lens. We saw the lens thickness was increased to five millimeters AP de uh, distance. And then therefore on the total refraction, it's much more there in the center. And there you go, that explains a lot. And it also shows you why the refraction in the center is, is higher than the refraction at a larger six millimeter optical zone. So in a case like this, again, you would think, do we aim for a plano? 
Again, going back to our couch here, the patient says, yes, I absolutely want Plano. You don't want Plano, trust me. Do this eye, put the seven doctor in, you're gonna end up at minus a half. The patient will be probably very, very thrilled. If you want the same the other eye, either put a nine or maybe an 850 if you want a little bit better distance. Or perhaps you'll be happy with this distance and you can even cheat this one for a little more myopia. Maybe you can put in a 10 diopter lens or a 950. So great case. Thanks for watching.